I'm Colleen Needles. It was less than a year ago that high school hockey player Jack Jablonski was paralyzed during a game. And since then, a variety of fundraisers have been held to promote and support Jack's recovery. Ride for a Reason is another upcoming event with a very special twist. And here to tell us more is organizer Bob McEnany. And Bob, welcome to Newsmakers. Thank you. Well, tell us about Ride for a Reason and what your goals are for this. Ride for a Reason was created this year using the bicycle as a vehicle for creating awareness and, and raising funds for certain events. And you're, you are riding or participating in yes. what is a very, very grueling race. Tell us about that. Yeah, the, I'm competing in a race called the Furnace Creek 508. Mm -hmm. It's 508 miles. It goes over 10 mountain passes, 35,000 feet of vertical climbing, it goes through the Mojave Desert and Death Valley. Um, so yeah, it's been ranked by National Geographic as number eight in their top ten list of tough events. So it's a no doubt it's a very challenging event. And you are you are participating to raise money for Jack's recovery. Correct. And, and how is the money exactly going to be raised? The money is going to be raised through a website. Uh, we do have a donation website, and the link to that will be um, off of my website, which is TotalCyclingPerformance.com. And so people can find out how to get to yes. that through your website. And we'll yes. give that site a little bit later. Talk about your ties to the Jablonski family. I used to work with Mike Jablonski at 3M back in the day. So um, when I had heard about the, the accident and um, put the relationship together, then I reached out to Mike and, and he and his family were very supportive. Oh, absolutely. What a wonderful wonderful cause and uh, do you know how Jack is doing? At this Jack time? is doing really well. He continues to do well. <laughs> um, he's he's exceeding the expectations of all the doctors. He's improving daily and yeah, it looks great. His story has really kind of captured, um, you know, everyone who has heard about it, not only in this community but around the country. Why do you think that is? So many of us you know, felt such a connection to that family. Well, yeah, I think a couple of reasons. First of all, hockey is such a prominent sport in the, in the state of Minnesota, and any time an injury of that significance happens, it, it raises the flag, and especially for a high school kid. Every, he's got his whole life ahead of him, and yeah. obviously everybody can relate to that. And parents, especially whether they're hockey parents or parents of, of you know, other sports, we all realize that, boy, it could be my child that's experiencing that, and it can all happen in just the ba uh, blink of an eye. Absolutely. Yeah. What is the reason you chose such a grueling, such an extreme race in order to raise awareness and raise money? Well, Jack's going to be dealing with challenges for the rest of his life. So every day he's going to get up and have to deal with his rehab and, and trying to improve. Um, so I wanted to have a, a very challenging event. Not that it's in any way, shape, or form anything close to the scope of what Jack experiences, but at the same time I wanted to have something in the endurance world that's, that's a, a, a real significant challenge. Not only for myself personally, but also um, the more challenging the event, um, it'll raise more visibility and awareness. How much money are you trying to raise? Our goal is $10,000. Our, our stated goal on our uh, donation website is 5000 but we're hoping to double that. So if people log on and see you're close to five, you're only halfway there. We're you halfway wanna, there, yeah. You want to... Yeah, we'll, we'll take, continue to take donations, absolutely. What is this, uh, we just have a few seconds, what does this challenge mean to you personally? Have you ever gone, uh, been in a race and gone 508 miles I have. It? I have never gone 508 miles. I've never climbed that many feet. Um, so it's going to be a, a real challenge to me, and I'm looking forward to it. Well, best of luck to you, and thank you so much for what you're doing for the Jablonski family. Thank you. The Ride for a Reason fundraiser is going to culminate with the Furnace Creek 508 bike race on October 6th through the 8th. And for sponsorship information or to learn how you can help, go to TotalCyclingPerformance.com. And you can go to that website at any time, and there will be opportunities to donate. And that's going to do it for this edition of Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Colleen Needles. Thank you for watching.